We had to do, uh, do quite a few things differently this time on the interior. We wanted to give the passengers more space. Uh, we have very, very cool seats. Uh, we work with Saabelt, which is a very renowned Italian house for race seats. And using their seats, which also they're supporting uh, Ferrari, by the way, so there's some collaboration there. But those seats allowed us to make them so thin that now you have 90 millimeters more seat track travel. And we also did a lot of work with the doors to cave them out and give you more arm room. So overall, it's a much more spa uh, spacious interior. So f even for someone like me, as tall as me, I can now drive it. But we were really focusing on three areas, uh, materials, craftsmanship, and technology. One of my uh, favorites is uh, the addition of the technology, how we were able to integrate uh, those big 8.4 touch screens in the center stack and that beautiful 7-inch uh, screen in the cluster. And one of the things uh, I want to give away that we, you will enjoy as a driver is as you rev that vehicle up to its rev limit to its 6,200 uh, uh, 6, RPM, you'll get the Striker logo uh, glowing uh, on the 7-inch telling you to back off. So that is a very nice feature, very proud of, and it shows how much fun the team had working on it, and it shows how everyone came together to create a holistic, great experience. The Viper, when you get it in, in the outgoing model, you know you're in for a ride. I mean, that car is, is a very ferocious car. It's very intimidating. And the interior didn't do anything to, uh, to convince you otherwise. So what we did this time is by using uh, beautiful materials um, in terms of you know, the f some of the finest leathers um, um, money can buy, but also shapes that are very pleasing to the touch and to the eye, combined with very, very precise details. Overall, we give you now an environment that is less intimidating, more welcoming, but it still has the look and the feel of a real race car.